dance in the garden. Okay, good. Uh, now I, I introduce uh, several sides of the show. You know, uh, to migrate OPF and leave office in Taiwan. Of course, the crime application is one thing. But another important problem is that many servers in government, they produce their reports in Microsoft format. Right? They produce DOC and XLS. They even produce non-standard XLS. It's only HTML. But you can view it in Excel. So uh, now we start to promote ODF and we want it to be the only uh, the standard in our documents. But those servers, they still produce uh, Microsoft format. So that's a serious problem. So uh, the first year, uh, as you said, last year, Last year we focus on this. This one. This is um, our own customized version of LibreOffice. It's based on LibreOffice 5.2, mm -hmm. but we added some uh, handling CJK and uh, some uh, solve some problem for converting, and uh, there is some uh, very convenient uh, convenient features especially for docu uh, for government document for example we have a, an extension here and we can easily add this line you see when you print out and you can uh, I don't know what to say <laughs> you can it's stable to connect together we can easily add this line in the left or in the right. So that's very convenient for the government document. And the second, we also add this. We can easily add a picture and uh, mm. it becomes all the marks. Okay, it becomes all the marks. Right. Just one step. Okay. And then, one important uh, feature of this is that we start to use this to create some templates. Because, uh, of course, currently, we just try to convert from the report, uh, from the Microsoft format to ODF, because we cannot rewrite all the, all the modules in the, in the government server service. So, uh, last year, we, at, the, at first, we, we released a module to convert directly from Microsoft to ODF. But then, uh, this year, our, our development team started uh, working on this one. This is uh, 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 we said another server that will provide API for you to call. Uh, the, for, for, this is still demo set, but I can, I can demo to you how, how it works. So that uh, for server side, for the government uh, service side, they just need to write a, a few code. And the first we create, we will create a template. We create the template like this. Okay, you can put titles, you can put fields. This is field. How 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 do we do these fields? We have a wizard, and uh, we can this fields name, and this fields type, and also we can add some comments here. These comments are for for the uh, programmer or developers in server side. IT, IT people on the server side. And uh, because we, we will just upload these this templates to the server. So they can see these comments and uh, put all the fields you want 
even you can put something like this is a true or false. It's a trip, uh, it's, it, it, it's a trip bus. Uh, this, this, for example, this is if you want to publish this, this information. Okay, after the template is done, we save it as a temporary file, OTT, you see. OTT is a temporary file. And then we upload to this server. We upload the template to this server. And it will generate API for you to call. For example, uh, when it is on the server, for, uh, for the client side, for the uh, government uh, who, who wants to produce a report, we just use, we can either use JSON or use YML to generate data like this. And uh, they can produce a report in audio format. They can fill the data you send to them and uh, with the template directly generate the report. So they, they don't need those, uh, those proprietary modules to generate Microsoft format any, anymore. And they don't need to convert anymore. And uh, for this API, this is another set to test because we, we uh, use a, a standard. Uh, what's the uh, uh, standard API? Oh, that's that's about, restful, but anyway, restful in the other? Yeah, it's restful, but it has a uh, it has a standard. Yeah, uh, Solver or Solver or OpenAPI? Maybe, uh, maybe. Anyway, anyway, uh, we, which this is a uh, uh, to show you the example, and uh, you can <coughs> see that they can generate data like this and. Uh, for example, uh, I add one more data here, and we just we can we can input main data. Send it as JSON and execute. This is to try the API. Actually, we, what do we do is this. Yeah, okay. We post. We post the URL and send the, the data. This is, actually, this is what the server side need to do. So the, no matter what the programming language they use, it doesn't matter. Because it, it just send this post. So then it will. Just a bit higher, but <laughs> maybe it's, uh, so mm. after the song sounds come back, yes, yeah. that's it. Yes, okay, you can see that it oh, successfully okay. and uh, we save it as a uh, OTT file. Mm -hmm. Finally, we open it. Yeah, so yeah, we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Uh, it's very convenient for the server side to direct change of report from any format before, no matter. But then you can generate all your report. Very convenient. And then this one, this one, uh, it will be released early next year, maybe January or February, and it will be released as open source. So every unit, they can build your own, you can build your own API server mm -hmm. and let others to upload your template. Mm -hmm. just, just with, with the, the way we do, just like this, and upload it. And you can also update mm -hmm. or write some new and update. And then, anyway, they generate API and you just call the API and send the data and you get a report. So it's a very important step for us to 
uh, to promote ODF in Taiwan because we need to solve the problem for government that cannot generate ODF report. Mm -hmm. Now we have this, and it will be uh, open source. And, and also this this temporary uh, this extension we will also release this too. And okay. now, now as far as I know, because all the uh, TDF are uh, trying to host a new site for extensions and templates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we will release this. It has still has some bugs, really. So we are still uh, fixing that. But uh, when we release it in Taiwan, we also release it to to the Dark Foundation. Oh, okay. Yeah. So everything uh, here will be released, and it will be a good solution for server side. Okay. That's it. So I think if you want to promote, uh, I think this this one is a very good uh, for you to, uh, no, no matter to corporations or to government, this is a, a very convenient, or, or you need to write a lot of programs to try to re generate reports. You know, especially uh, you, uh, for now, for all XML, we need to extract it and find the data inside the XML and uh, try to fill the data. For this, it's very easy. We just upload the template and field and send data with the field. Mm -hmm. uh, and the field can be named uh, in Chinese or in Japanese that the programmers can understand. Mm -hmm. and the, the, so, so it's, this, this is a uh, we release is Next year, early next year. Okay, okay. Yeah, I see that uh, if I go to the website, it's basically just in Chinese or Japanese. Is there also English? It can it can be used, of course. Okay. But now the interface should be Chinese only. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. So but but it is not uh, it's not difficult to, to change that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.